Hello and welcome to the learning curve. In the series of flash and action script tutorials, today we will try to make a shooting game. So for this, uh, I have basically made a few symbols here. Now the first symbol is basically made out of using those standard rectangles and circles and I have exported it to a movie clip and the uh, class name is car. This is a UFO which I have made using again the uh, same symbols and I have converted it into a movie clip. The instance name of this is car1, the instance name of this is UFO1 and then I have created a bullet or a shot. This is just an animated shot. You can just maybe see this. So you can see it basically is an animated shot which at frame 20 I just inserted a keyframe, did a normal motion tween here or a normal classic tween was put in and to make it disappear I have just added a blank keyframe and at this position of the action I have just added a stop action script so that it does not keep repeatedly shooting otherwise the inherent property of a movie clip is to keep tweening so that is why these three uh, symbols we have created now what I want this uh, game to do is it should be able to shoot the bullet whenever I click this car should shoot a bullet and if it hits this UFO it should just uh, disappear the UFO should just disappear saying a hit so now first make a function and call it the control car so what I want this function to do is that it should basically be able to move the car it's an event of the type event so this is similar to the custom cursor that we had done so we just want the cursor to take the shape of this car now and we want the position of the car dot x that's the instance name of this car that we have on the stage to take up the stage dot mouse x position car one dot y we need this to be fixed to maybe 250 pixels because the screen size has 300 pixels in the y direction and we also want the mouse to hide we will then add an event listener so who's going to listen to these events as soon as we enter the stage the stage should be in listening to this so the stage dot add event listener this is an event of enter frame so as soon as I start this I enter the stage this it should call the control car function so with this function there's a spelling mistake here control So with this function, I should be able to just move my car in the x direction. The y position is fixed to 250. So now this is working. Now what I want, the next function is that I want to be able to shoot a bullet. So you can see the instance of a bullet is not present here on the stage. The instance needs to be added as soon as I shoot or press the click button. So for that we will use the add child function which we had discussed earlier. So I'll first create a container variable like we did earlier. So this is a movie clip and this is new movie clip. You can see the previous tutorial in case there's some confusion there. The add child one and we add this container so a blank page is added to my stage now I'll write the function shoot so I want this function to be triggered whenever the mouse is pressed or clicked so obviously this is a mouse event it's not going to return anything and 
for this I will then create an instance of the short which I had created so I'll name it variable as short1 and this is a movie clip because you can see here that the short is a movie clip the class name is new short yes so we have a short one which is an instance of the short class so once this is done <coughs> now we want the con this to be displayed so it's going to be displayed only when we add the child to the container short one so this is added and I want the sh okay now once this is done I will have to add a, an event listener so who's going to listen to this event again the stage is going to listen to the event add event listener it's a mouse event and when is it triggered whenever we click the mouse and which function the shoot function needs to be triggered so let's see if it works so as soon as I something wrong here oh oh okay there's a capital F here which I missed out so you can see that over here the bullet is flashing now I want the position of the sh uh, short one to be somewhere near the uh, car so short one dot x will be car one dot x plus some maybe we'll have to try this so 55 or uh, 55 pixels and short one dot y is equal to car one dot y why are we doing this because uh, the car one registration point you must have seen that it was the uh, leftmost position so we obviously to take the center we have to shift to a certain amount of pixels which we can find out by actually using it practically car 1 silly mistake so it's almost near this we can maybe just increase it a little to may 58 and yes this is done so my car is now shooting the UFO is there now I need to find out the hit between the bullet and the UFO so we will use the hit test object which was discussed in the earlier lectures you can go through them to refresh it so we'll call this function hit UFO it's an event of type event because again a stage event which will return nothing and I can say if container dot hit test object that's the name of the function which is inbuilt and the instance name of this UFO is UFO1 so if this hits then I need to do something I can maybe just say trace hit now once this is done I want to add again an event listener to this so again the stage dot add function should be called so let's see yes you can see that the hit is produced if I do it here nothing is happening I do it here a hit is produced yes so this is working now now what I can do is 
I maybe want to add the UFO movement also. So I can just look at the symbol of the UFO. I want it to move down. So in the timeline, let frame this. The new position is shift. Enter. So this is how it should look like. Yes, it is moving correctly now. So now another thing that I want is that this UFO, when it hits the car, then the game should end and the car should disappear. So back to the scene and back to the action script. Now I want to say that okay if this is hitting we are tracing this and we also want the UFO to disappear. So we can say UFO 1 dot alpha is equal to 0 means make it transparent. Now if car 1 dot hit test object and I'll say UFO 1 if this is the car is hitting the UFO then I can say trace game over and I can maybe just make my car disappear so car 1 dot alpha is equal to 0 so let's see if this works so yes game so it had touched this if it is touching game over it is tracing this again if I shoot this a hit is there and this is moving so this is barely working now now what I want is that instead of the trace I want a text to be displayed so maybe I can just add a text box somewhere so again back here at the text box I'll make a box this side it's going to be a classic text dynamic I'll embed the fonts here say embed all okay and this text I can name my text that's the instance of this in the timeline in the actions I can just say my text dot text is equal to hit and I can say my text dot text is equal to and the same thing game over let's see if it works so it touched and the game is over and the hit is also produced so we have a working game now now you can explore further on and see for yourself what improvements can be made in this thank you